Assalamu alaikum how are you guys well the today video topic is how to configure bspwm bspwm is a window manager right now you can see so bspwm can be found in most uh, linux distribution repositories using your package manager you can use it in ubuntu or linux debian mint if you can't find it for your distribution just go to its repository and clone it and compile it for your system here is the repository page so once you are done with it bspwm uses uh, configuration files in config dot bspwm i am going to delete my these two directories for this video demonstration so that's it now copy the user share. create those directories first and our home directory dot config we have to create two directories one for sxhkd this one this is the keyboard daemon by the same developer as bspwm and one directory we have to create for bspwm itself so these two directories are created now let's copy the files example copy file into bspwm and the other file sxhkdrc copy to sxhkdrc this directory let's seed it them that's it the first line shows if sxhkd is running it's okay but if it is not running then you should start sxhkd keep that in mind without sxhkd or some other keyboard daemon like uh, x in it or uh, uh, like sorry x bind keys or something like that without that you can't run bspwm because it only manages windows the keyboard is being controlled by sxhkd sxhkd is by the same developer who wrote bspwm so i really recommend this one but you can use other keyboard demons it's linux so everything is based on your taste how you like it so the other line bspc monitor it gives your desktop some names like you can see here in my polybar tray so the other thing is bspc config border width the window border width and the gap in between the windows the gap between the two windows you can see there is some gap so you configure it how you like split ratio once you open a new window how much space it should take this one you can configure here borderless monocal gapless monocal only one window on screen and here are some rules the game uh, software window should be opened only on uh, desktop 8 
here and they should be floating the chromium should only be opened on desktop and on two and the amp layer should be floating i don't know this one and the screen key should not be managed by window manager so these are some rules you can also use another file here like external rules and source it from your bsp pc uh, bspwmrc file you can source this one file like here in my setup i have used it bspwm config bspwm here you can see my bspwmrc and i have source another file for rules external rules so here are my external rules file you can see i am sourcing it from my bsp wmrc so you can source rules file if you have many other rules like if whenever a new window is opened bsp wm reads that file and thus uh, uh, does some action based on those rules <coughs> so um, let's configure sx uh, sx hkd go to its directory this is the keyboard daemon file super plus return it should open your xvt a terminal it should open a terminal super plus space should open d menu run this one for configuration reload so you can configure keyboard shortcuts here in this file i have my sx hkd rc let me show you so this one is not mine mine is located into one thing this one is my sx hkprc file so here you can see i have bound many keys some soft buttons i also have bound like these were these are the soft launch buttons you can use a program xcv to get the keyboards like you can see the keyboard uh, you can see actually uh, uh, it uh, you can see the key, key the pressed key name here it has very long output i have written a script keys so now the long output you will not see and you will see the key name only you can see here what i am pressing you can see their number and the key there so here you can see i have bound these keys so this way you can configure bspwm with sx hkd so thanks for watching my video if you like the video hit like subscribe my channel press the bell icon so you will not miss the new videos let's meet in a, another video thanks for watching bye